This morning, police in the New York City area are investigating a late night boat crash near the city that left a groom to be without either his bride or his best man. This wedding was just weeks away, but instead of engaging in last minute party planning, the family of the bride has just recovered her body. And ABC's Aditi Roy is covering this really terrible story from Piermont, New York. Aditi, good morning. Good morning, Dan. Rescue crews will be back on the water later on this morning, searching for the remaining missing passenger on the boat. The boat operator has been arrested. All of this coming amid intense grief among the couple's loved ones. This morning, 35-year-old Jojo K. John is facing felony charges, including manslaughter. Investigators say John was drunk behind the wheel of this 21-foot speedboat as it slammed into a barge late Friday night. At this point, we have probable cause to believe that he operated the boat while intoxicated, and that's the basis for the charge. That announcement came just hours after rescue crews pulled out a female body from the water. They believe it is 30-year-old Lindsay Stewart, a bride-to-be set to be married to 35-year-old Brian Bond in two weeks. She's supposed to be married two, two weeks from today. Yeah. It just can't end like this. The frantic search for Stewart and her fiancé's best man was launched after a bridal party celebration turned into a nightmare. The couple and four friends took Jojo John's stingray for what was supposed to be a short trip down New York's Hudson River until the craft hit this barge at full speed, launching Stewart and the best man overboard. They do have some uh, lighting, but it was very dark out there last night and very difficult to, uh, to see the barges in the water. Bond, knocked unconscious after the collision, called 911 after coming to his senses. This morning, he is recovering from a shattered eye socket and mourning the death of the woman who was just two weeks from becoming his wife. Investigators say that everyone on the boat suffered head injuries. The groom-to-be remains at the hospital. He and the bride-to-be had known each other since they were 10 years old. Dan and Biana, a heartbreaking story. Heartbreaking doesn't begin to describe it. Our best to those families this morning. Really, we do send our best to them.